For those of you who don't know, the exhibit uses augmented reality technology to teach kids and parents, or anyone who happens to be walking by, about our solar system and the space telescopes. I think most people really first kind of became super aware of augmented reality with Pokemon Go, and you can, you know, hold up your phone and see cartoon Pokemon in the real world and catch them and fight them. But it's so much more than that. And as we speak, augmented reality is being used to add content to novels and textbooks. It's being used to help warehouse employees find the objects they need to fill orders. It's being used by Boeing and Ford to help build airplanes and cars. And it's being used in med schools to help train the people who will someday operate on us. It's really important that the parents and children of Baltimore County and all of Maryland become acquainted with this technology. Through this public display with illustrations created by renowned children's author and illustrator Kevin Sherry, supported with space facts and images from the Space Telescope Science Institute, and brought to life with the holographic animations by the folks at Balta Virtual, we hope to inspire our young people. We want them to stay right here in Maryland and become entrepreneurs like Will, and we want them to become astrophysicists and work at one of our many space-based institutions. And we want them to listen to the animated voice of Anita Crawford and hear that the voice of science isn't always the voice of those with the most power. So a heartfelt thanks to the Maryland State Library for providing the funding for us with the Institute of Museum and Library Services grant funding to make this possible. So I love this project for several reasons. It combines three absolutely wonderful things. First of all, it combines what has been a tradition across the country in public libraries everywhere of the summer reading program, which is really not just for kids and them maintaining their reading skills, but also for parents. It also combines that with the story trails that we've established in a couple of different locations in the county, and that facilitates kids, parents, reading, and being outdoors all at the same time. It's just a knockout project. <laughs> And finally, and Liz mentioned this as well, ever since Pokemon Go was released, I have been saying we need to do something with that in libraries. So this project adds that in for an absolutely wonderful project that we know kids will be very excited about. So we are thrilled today to launch the SumR feature that combines our summer reading theme universe of stories uh, with AR in our story trails. I'm Will, founder of Balti Virtual. We're a uh, AR VR studio based in Baltimore City. First of all, uh, try the story trail for sure. Check it out, see how AR works. And also we organize a meetup group called Be More VR that has free events uh, once a quarter. And we really encourage people to come and try virtual reality, put the, put the gear on, check it out, see what it's all about. Uh, and finally, if you're interested at all in this stuff, grab somebody from Balti Virtual. I guess, uh, where are you guys? Sort of all, all spread around, mostly in, in the shade, this very, very intelligently. Uh, and, and grab them and just say, you know, how does this work? How do you build this stuff? So again, thanks for having me here. Uh, we're thrilled to be a part of this collaboration and we hope you enjoy it because we do a lot of different work in uh, advertising and marketing and we work with some great brands, but nothing gets us more excited than uh, working on a project that makes Baltimore a little bit brighter and that inspires young people. We have operated the Hubble Space Telescope for almost 30 years now. Who here has heard of the Hubble Space Telescope? Yay! Hopefully everyone. It's kind of a big deal. And we will be operating when it launches in 2021 the James Webb Space Telescope, uh, NASA's next flagship mission. It's part of our, our mission statement uh, to make the world's astronomical information accessible to the public. And so that's part of what we've done here is provided some real data from the Hubble Space Telescope showing these different kinds of objects, the planets, the Milky Way, and then also telling you about the observatories themselves um, and, and really trying to bring it to, to a level that sort of everyone in the community can appreciate. Um, the Office of Public Outreach uh, has many, many years of experience um, working with the library communities in different ways. Uh, it's a community that we really valuable. We really value um, because it, it it's it's probably the community that most connects directly to um, 
to the public um, with personal interactions that really go the distance to, um, to help people learn. Uh, and so we're really, really grateful to be included in this project and, and excited uh, that so many people are here and that it's, um, you know, it's going to get a lot of traction and really hopefully inspire a lot of young people to then go into science. And, and I hope you all enjoy uh, the art, the augmented reality, the science, the facts, and the performance here today. So thank you so much. Thank you so much to the library for involving me in this awesome project.